We'll just see. Do I have any questions? Not in game. Yeah, if you have any questions right now, obviously just ask them in Mumble. Type them in the Twitch chat or in the in game chat. Hello? Hello? Yeah? Uh, I have a question. Yeah, ask it. Uh, when you uh, enter a new system, um, either in a low sec, a null sec, or a wormhole, uh, should you uh, first scan down all the sites and then jump between them while hacking, or should sh you should uh, find the first site, hack it, then find the second mm -hmm. site, hack it, etc. Mm -hmm. I never really un understood what is mm -hmm. a better option. Really good question. Uh, I would say it depends really. <laughs> there might be a situation, for instance, where there are other explorers around, um, or you're worried like maybe there's someone hunting me, or yeah, you've seen other people around other systems around around where you're active. So maybe you really want to go fast in um, and try and get a site fast, uh, do that, get some loot out, so that yeah maybe okay. There's really the risk uh, that, that someone enters the system and actually hunts you. And if you scan down like 10 sites and then you can't do the sites because there is a hunter around, not really great. Um, so yeah, I would say it, it depends. Maybe others have other opinions on that. Maybe there's a, yeah, the, the perfect way. But for me, it really depends on the situation uh, I might do like just a couple sites scan those uh, and then get hacking i might do uh, scanning well i'm a bit more experienced i wouldn't say like i'm a super experienced explorer but i'm a bit more experienced so if i'm feeling safe i might also do like just okay while i warp to the site i scan something new and then i do the site and then i i just go on like that but yeah it, it depends on my view uh, thank you. And another question. Sure. Uh, if you enter a system and uh, on your D-scan you see already uh, uh, scan probes, so, so it means someone is scanning down the sites, uh, should you, well, scan, scan them down too or is it safer to abandon the system and move on? <laughs> Again, depends. <laughs> um, so, first, if you're in EFUNI and you're in high sec, and doing high sec uh, scanning, really important is, of course, our rules. Yeah. Um, you see someone doing a site in high sec, we do not usually contest, right? So, um in that case obviously if there's somebody already scanning i would just do okay that's your system whatever i'll move on um for um low sec null sec one more obviously you can yeah, fight them over the site so you can try and be faster um and then it depends do you know who's the scanner is who's the other explorer are you in a t1 uh exploration frigate and then they are also in a T1 exploration frigate, or you're in co-ops, they are in co-ops, or whatever. Okay, you can't really do anything to each other, you're not really in any danger. So if we definitely seen them, you know them, you know that, okay, they are not actually in a Stero or T3 cruiser or whatnot, um, and can't actually like hurt me, and I can't hurt them. Okay, whatever, we are just doing, yeah, I'm just gonna try and be faster than them. So you're not really in any danger, you can do that. But obviously if you've seen like a, a Stero pop up or yeah, a T3 cruiser, it's really unsafe. Then you really should get the hell out. And then it also depends what probes you see, because you might also see not the normal probes, but you might see Comet probes. If you see Comet probes, that's definitely a cue to get the hell out. Uh, I'm asking because uh, like several days ago I went into a wormhole 
and uh, in Wormhole system. And I found out there were three uh, core scanner probe sets on this scan. So it were it was there were three hidden mm. uh, people scanning down the sides. And I'm maybe ashamed, maybe not. I bailed out of, of there. Yep. I won't, won't risk such a situation. Yeah, I mean, even if you're even if you are in high sec and uh, it's just a busy system or if you know what they are in and they are, can't hurt you i mean it's not really worth it if there are already three explorers there you probably won't be able to get to any site before the others have done them so uh, i it's just a waste of time then so i, I worry less about the or i think less about this from the side of uh, I might be hurt, but is it even effective? So yeah, if you see three or even two uh, sets of probes, definitely just get out. It's, I mean, if there are like, if you're in wormhole and there are like 20, 30 sites, okay, and you're really confident uh, that you are not getting hunted or something, then okay, <laughs> try your luck. Uh, but uh, other than that it's it's just not worth it there's too much competition so you move on that's also really a, a good tip uh, don't go obviously to very active systems if you go from cheetah and you go like five jumps out uh yeah there will be tons of people there doing exploration as well or yeah in main systems or around main systems or around other trade hubs and so on there are just too many people to even if you go into low sec or null sec, there are really active systems, really active, um, yeah, pockets. You really need to uh, find places that are less active. Really be effective. Can it be said the same about a system near a high sec campus? Can, for example, an, mm. an enemy. Um, scan down a wormhole in our Amy system and wait for new um, explorers there. So you mean if you are jumping into the wormhole? In Amy system. Well, in Amy system it's high sec, so they can't really, like, they won't attack you as an explorer. I mean, it's not worth it. They will use their ship to Concord, so... No, no, no. They... Uh, they fly to Amy system, mm -hmm. they find a wormhole, they jump into a wormhole. Yeah, and, and wait, wait for you. the other side. Yeah, that's definitely a thing, obviously. That's really... I mean, lo lots of people just... Especially if you're actually living in wormhole space, um, and you have, like, for instance, wrote a wormhole opening close to Jita, you camp it or you definitely have a look uh, out for explorers because there will probably be people coming through um so obviously yeah that, that's definitely something that can happen okay thank you okay we have a few questions in mumble does it make a difference if you scan cloaked um in what way i no, it doesn't really make it. I mean, it makes a difference that you're safer when you're cloaked, but it doesn't make a difference to the scanning process, if that's what you're asking. Yes, exactly. I'm asking about this. If uh, it makes it faster or nope. uh, something like that. No. No, nope. okay. it doesn't change anything. Uh, wormholes inside wormholes. Uh, that's maybe a bit too far out the scope of the out of the class but we can maybe okay, uh, talk I'm about it. this because it's uh, usual to find wormholes inside wormholes so uh, I, I was wondering is it worth it to try to go yeah okay so any wormhole has um, different connections so yep you can definitely just go further into the wormhole chain it's called um, so you find a wormhole you find a different wormhole to another wormhole or to null sec or low sec or high sec you can obviously use those as well and get around but yeah i mean maybe we can talk after the class a bit more about wormhole space uh, wormhole exploration that's 
definitely more yeah advanced i would say and maybe a bit too far out of the scope of the current uh talk yeah uh, if you find a relic site and you are cloaked, uh, are the possible guards awaken? And mm, so, uh, guards on relic and data sites. Um, that's actually a really good um, point. I have a link for you there. Um, so LinkedIn uh, class chat. You have. Um, uh, overview of uh, the safe sites you can find um, in wormhole space there are uh, sleeper sites uh, sleeper data sites specifically um, uh, mostly and those have sleeper guards and yeah you should just not warp to them uh, you need specific ships to actually kill those and then you can do the uh, yeah, the hacking part, um, you usually do that in a specifically if it's Stratius, for instance, or T3 Cruiser. Um, so just ignore sleeper sites. If you do usually basic hacking uh, exploration, just go to uh, pirate sites. So those will be marked by pirate names. And you can uh, check out the uh, link I linked in the in-game channel oh thank you very much so yeah you cannot take the loot uh, undiscovered that's not possible uh hero also um yep yeah, that's basically the same info from e scout generally e scout really good resources obviously they are the explorers signal cartel are the explorers uh par excellence in uh, eve uh, if you want to focus really your career in EVE on exploration, I would definitely say go to Signal Cartel um, if that's really what you want to do uh, specifically. Yes. They do really good, great services as well. Um, so they bookmark uh, all the Thera assets uh, and that's public available. So you can do work for them. That's also really cool. Ooh. Question about yep. some of the viruses. Yeah, sure. Do you think you could maybe roll back to that screen you had up? Yep, sure. Mm, this one? Yep. Um, so you had mentioned that the secondary vector is really good against the virus suppressor. Is that right? Yep. Is that... How would I say this? Does it passively attack that? By that mm. I mean... Yeah, that's damage over time. So you. So I could be doing something else. Not yeah, exactly. That's that's no, that's exactly what it does. So you, uh, you have it in your inventory, like you. Um, you click on the, uh, on the item. You apply it to the wire suppressor, and then you, for instance, click on another node because you want to explore more, or you find a different uh, defensive system that you want to kill as well. Um, although that's not advisable to try that because the virus suppressor uh, just lowers your damage, but maybe it, you already attacked it before or something, or you lose something else. That's an action. Anything you do on the board is always any click is an action. And every time you do something else, that uh, damage over time effect uh, ticks on the virus suppressor and will kill it after three ticks. Yeah, but just to be you have to click on the vector then actually click on the suppressor it doesn't work like the wrench where you just click on the wrench and then any action nope. you do okay yeah exactly so uh, the kernel rod is the same so the shield and the self-repair those apply to you so you just click on them and they are active and the secondary vector and kernel rods are basically a text um, so you uh, activate them and then you yeah uh, have to see what what's uh, or click on the uh, thing you want to attack actually and is there any sort of you know i've watched some, a few youtube videos of people hacking and they seem to go around the outsides first they seem to try to get as far as they can clicking on everything they can like going on sort of an outside in pattern is there any sort of like standard way that 
Oh, that's actually um, that's a good point. Uh, I did mention that before, really. Um, I don't know if it's always the outside. The thing is, like every layout is completely different. It's always random, so it really depends on the layout. What's important is uh, to know that the uh, system core is usually, in most cases, pretty much the furthest away or in the region of the grid that is the furthest away from your starting point. So let's say you started off here in the upper left, uh, then as shown here in the uh, slide, uh, the system core will probably be around here. Might also be around here, but it's very likely it's around here. Doesn't need to be on the on the outermost edge, but somewhere here probably. Okay. Um, One more quick question, if I could. Yeah. Sure. Just a scanning question. So normally, I'll launch probes, put it in the spread formation, try to sort of get as many, at least partially scanned with one in one go. Then I'll click on something specific, go into pinpoint, that usually puts it down to 4 AU, and then scan down from there. Is that the right sort of process? Um, I've never, I'm never using the, the spread formation, always the pinpoint formation. Uh, I would say, like, the thing is, uh, usually, usually, you usually have clusters um, where you actually um, yeah, have, for instance, in the uh, system Cessnas, you have a few, and then you have around another planet outside a few. So it's really the most effective way is to just plunk your uh, pinpoint formation right in one of those clusters uh, and get all of those in the cluster and then go from there, I would say. Okay, is there any recommended starting astronomical unit or is it totally dependent on what you see on the screen? Uh, really depends on your skills uh, and what ship you fly. Um, so if you're just starting out, you might... Um, I mean, the thing is, uh, really how you work with the AU, I mean, usually you'd start at 8 AU. Um, um, yeah, if it's really sped out, you might use 16, but usually I would say you, you start at 8 AU and go from there. And if you get decent skills, you can go like uh, yeah, right away from 8 to maybe even 2 down. Uh, but uh, if you're just starting out, you might really need to go in, in slower increments. Great, good to know. Thank you. Can I ask you something else? Of course. Uh, yes, um, the numbers inside the nodes, when you click on the node, there's a number. It's the distance from oh. the node to the, very good question. the area that you uh, yeah. want to find. Uh, very good question. Yeah, I didn't mention that before. <laughs> Good thing you asked that. Yeah, right. Um, so in the moment you click on the node, it's not shown here, but uh, there will be a number flashing up, one, two, three, four, five, something like that. And that just shows that either the system core or defensive subsystem or utility subsystem is uh, that far away from uh, that node. So if you see a one, you know, okay, you click around, let's say here, you know, okay, on one of these is either a defensive subsystem or utility or the core. So, so these numbers are not uh, the area that you want to, to go, it's something. Uh, no, yeah, it's just something. So that can mean a good thing. <laughs> so if you want to be safe, let's say uh, that's why maybe a lot of people go on some outside route, um, you can look for like, let's say four or five numbers and just go through there and just stay away from, from everything um, and try and get to the system core that way. But as I said, it really depends on the layout uh, of the hacking grid. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Woo. we've been going for an hour. Okay, uh, so I'll say we conclude the theoretic part. If there aren't any more questions, I actually should check the uh, Discord as well. Oh, I forgot that to tell. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, how do you improve hit points and damage you do? Uh, so with a virus coherence and strength. Uh, so those are uh, obviously through your uh, skills, hacking and archaeology, and then the ships and the skills in the ships, and then also your uh, uh, the module you use. So. Uh, T2 module obviously has better skills, uh, better stats. Um, yeah, and you have also implants and all that thing, but that's uh, more uh, if you're really getting deep into exploration. How long does it take to be scanned by an enemy hunter? Um, I can't say a definite number. I the thing is like a really good combat prober um if he sees you on d-scan and he can pinpoint you he really just needs one pass with the combat probes so if you see combat probes assume that you are already um scanned and that the person is in warp to you even if you don't see anyone uh, and get the hell out the thing is, the hunter might not even need to scan you down because you are at a site he already scanned. So he might be at the site already. He might find you on D scan on that site and then be there and you don't even know he's there until he declose and kills you. Uh, can you repair your virus in the middle of the hack? Yeah. Okay, Amy already said, yeah, with the repair warp thing. So that's really the only uh, thing you can do here with the uh, utility subsystem self repair, you can uh, get repair. Uh, okay. Uh, also, a good point I didn't mention. Them. I'm missing a lot of stuff, but okay. Uh, yeah, you have two tries for normal sites, uh, not for ghost sites. Those uh, blow up in your face immediately. But for normal data and tagging, uh, uh, for normal data and relic sites, you have uh, two tries before the can vaporizes itself and you lose the loot.